On Monday, Fed's Clarida said their rates won't rise just because unemployment fell. Canada's quick initial rebound in consumer confidence showed signs of slowing, suggesting there is a long road ahead for the full economic recovery from the pandemic. And the UK said it's ready to walk away from Brexit trade talks if Brussels does not drop its demand to align with EU state aid rules. Welcome to the Tickmill Update. I'm Kenna Daniel, the founder of the Invest Diva Movement. Make sure to subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel and support us by liking and sharing this video with your forex trading friends. On Tuesday, we'll be eyeing Australia's interest rate decision, the German jobs report, the US ISM manufacturing PMI for August, and Australia's GDP growth during the next day's Asian session. Today, I'm looking at the pound dollar pair, which is continuing its march up towards the pre-pandemic highs of 135 and has already broken above the 133 resistance level. We still don't have evidence that the pair could go any higher than this. So I'd stay in a wait and see mode to see if the resistance zone is going to be strong enough to change the current bullish trend and push the pair back down. Do you think the pair's gains will be capped here? Head over to the comment section and let me know. Of course, trading in the financial markets involves a risk of loss and you should only trade the money that you can afford to lose. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Tickmill YouTube channel. I'll get back to you with more updates tomorrow.